<laughs> Robin. Why do you look so evil today? Ian Halpern in studio. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Ian undercover on the Twitter. He's I'm always on CNN the case. In a while. You look uh, very sharp. Sharp dress, sir. You guys look a bit tired, but it's an honor to be here. Well, it's uh, <laughs> good to have you. It's the morning uh, thing, you know. Norton looks great. Thank oh, you. Yeah, you look any? like you've been hitting the gym. Yeah, it's been a while since Eating I've seen you. Yeah, yeah I have, you look I've fantastic. Been, uh, yes, he you, does. <laughs> look, i got to say one thing. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. And to all the people, I get harassed by all your listeners what? to come back on this show all the time. So I'm here, and That's let's... It. Let's the good times roll. Well, Ian, <laughs> obviously it's been a while. Just give us a little update. What have you been doing? What are you working on? In the last two years. You know, fill the the audience right. in on where you've been. I've been working on my tennis game a lot. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm playing yeah. a lot of tournaments. Um, what well, do you mean you right. playing You're a like lot of pro tournaments. tennis player? Yeah, I'm playing... We like to say tournaments in America, by the way. <laughs> tournaments. Tourney. Tournaments. Um, look, I, I ain't going to Wimbledon. But tennis is a way of life for me. I play about yeah. six times a week. Wow. And, uh, do you really? Yes, I do. Show me something. Um, hey, the ra the big racket's below the waist, so you know, I'm not uh, going to show you that. Shit. Well, well, can't uh, you do, like, some air tennis? Yeah, no, to, I'm a lefty. Let me tell you something. What? I'm a lefty. Like Nadal John McEnroe. would not be Nadal if he wasn't a lefty. Mac, who I know was on the show recently, wouldn't oh, yeah. be Mac if he wasn't a lefty. We definitely have an advantage. You guys play tennis? Hell I no. do. It's a no. girl sport. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to throw this at, at, at you. Yeah. I've been talking to some pros. Remember, there's been some battle of the sexes. We had oh, Bobby Riggs against Billie Jean, which was rigged. They say we, that now. We yeah. to say it was yeah. rigged. Writing a book about he lost it? it. He lost on purpose. We had... Because of gambling debts. Sorry. Jimmy beat Martina. Mm -hmm. When did that go down? That was the second battle of the sexes. Why doesn't anyone talk about the second battle of the sexes? And the third one, All His right. Highness wants to organize. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. And I'm proposing Serena Williams. Oh, you, boy. See, you always have a current player against a retired men's player. I'm, I'm proposing Serena against Pete Sampras. And I, I'm asking your callers who's going to win that one. Pete Sampras in his form today against Serena today. Who wins that? I would have to go with Serena. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would have to go with Serena on that one. I would have to go with, I don't really give a fuck. But if you need an answer, Serena, sure. And Jim? Probably Serena. You find and, Serena attractive, see, all, right? We're always you're, on a different page. I'm saying chicks. Sampras 6 love 6 1. Really? 6 love 6 1. Yeah, I, I think it's no contest. I, <laughs> 6 yeah. love 6 1. And I'll tell you why. You could take. How old is Sampras? Sampras, uh, I don't know, he's about 80 years old now. How old is the dude? No, I'm kidding. Right. He he's must probably, be about 42. I would guess around 42. It sounds about right. 41? Uh, yeah, he would kick her ass. I, I mean, guess, if you want to really think. Answer. Why, you why, could why? take the top. Because he's men's. probably still playing a lot. Yeah. Just to stay in shape and shit, right? Hmm. Let's see a picture of Pete Sampras. Let's see if he's got a little gut on him. But why would you put him? Why would you have him beating her? Because he's only she's forty-one, forty-two. Like Bobby Riggs was what fifty something? Yeah, uh, he was six old. or something. He was, old. he was a mess. Yeah, and he and it, oh, he boy. was post Viagra. What Bobby happened Riggs? to Sampras' nice hair? Wow, damn! Looks like it ran away. <laughs> <laughs> You so know. how's life, guys? Uh, what, what do you have? What's what? going on? So it looks like I haven't missed a beat here in two well, years. I haven't seen you guys. We, we asked you what what you're doing, and you I said told you, you I'm play playing tennis. a lot of tennis. And, and he's got a bag a of, of books. Xbox. Why do you got a bag of books? Because nobody reads the books that comes in here from your publicists who bring on the guests. Right. They're just sitting in the office. So right. I grab them all. Yeah, they're they're collecting dust. I love to read. What you grab? About two, three books. Show us what you grab. Make a quick pile and find it. We have Pierce Morgan. Right. You know, all these guys seem to have a ghostwriter yeah. attached to these books. I yeah, mean, you write your own spooky. stuff. You know, uh, Tom Sizemore. Yeah. How, how, who's the best is? one? George St. Pierre, fellow Canadian. I, I, I heard he's a bit of a dick, actually. <laughs> he's a nice guy. How, how was he on the show here, St. Pierre? I missed that day. He's mellow. He's fine. We were trying to rouse you after him or before him. All right, and what else? Uh, this one, Cracked. Cracked Magazine. This is a lot of funny stuff in here. Cracked Magazine. Yeah. They did a book. Now, we? Dr. Yeah. J, I understand he's coming in. He's yeah, coming back. Maybe yeah. tomorrow, I think. Is it tomorrow? Now, apparently, so. he had a daughter. Or soon. When Play tennis. tennis. Yeah, that's right. I know a, that. A fantastic. And supposedly, she was pretty good. And they were estranged for years, and then uh, he... He hooked up with her again, and he did the honorable thing and became a dad. Wait, and, when did this come uh, in? Yeah. If we have to read this for tomorrow? 
<laughs> when was the last time you read a book uh, for one of the guests? Oh, uh, Jimmy reads I, books. I read them. Yeah. You read them? Yeah, oh, yeah. Jimmy, uh, yes. Jimmy I'll, I'll does. I'll read what I can. Wait, like, is that the Dr. J book an old book? Dude, what type of diet are you on? You look fantastic. Oh look, God. what are you doing? He's amazing. I've just been eating blueberries. <laughs> this is Mr. Blueberry Face. What are you doing? The cold pressed Mustard. juice diet or no, something? No, I'm just eating. Uh, going to the gym and eating yep. butter in yeah. general. Yeah. yeah. Which gym do you go to in New York? Give them a plug. Uh, no, in my building, let's just say. But I yeah. go to a separate gym. You are you doing yoga or something, too? No, no yoga. Just. Just gym, cardio? Oh my a little God. cardio. I do usually four or five days in the gym with trainers a week. Because with all due respect, he looks in the best shape other the three of you. All right. Like, yeah. uh, with, especially all right. below the waist. He's you two working, look like uh, you haven't been in, hitting the gym recently. I hit the gym, <laughs> sir. You do? Yeah. Get out of here. I'm that an animal. Look, look at Anthony's guns. That's true. I'm an animal. You're already aggravating the listeners. I can't wait to go to the phones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, here but we go. Hold on. What, what other books? You got the Dr. Paddle your own canoe. How was this, dude? Nick Offerman was really cool. He's the mustache guy from Parks and Rec. Yeah, he got a mustache. It looked all crazy. Who's been the best? Best guest you've had on in the two years since Ozzy Osbourne. No. <laughs> has Jesse Ventura been back? Uh, no. You know what? No, he hasn't been back in a while. Because that was a classic. He has Jimmy a... and Jesse Ventura. <laughs> he's one of the best uh, we've had on yeah, because I would he's have such to go an with... asshole. I would Tyson. Have... Yep. That was my answer, too. Mike, Mike Tyson, Tyson was yeah. amazing. He's a nice guy. Although yeah. one of his uh, appearances was mellow. He's done three now. He's yeah. done two amazing and one just kind of mellow. And the day, the day he was mellow, mm -hmm. his wife was in studio. Yeah. So, there, you know, I see what's going on there. But he was mm -hmm. also, don't forget, still active in his addiction then, which he finally yep. came out with. I can't wait to get his book and read oh, it, man. Oh, that's right. Uh, yes. I want to ask him about that. And what recently, mad, Tim man. Conway is amazing. Yeah. Tim fucking yes, Conway. I, I thought he was staring at wood, Tim Conway. Is he still around? Uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good name. Hey, this is Timmy Woodstarer. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'm 80. looking at Wood. He'll be 80 in December, and he was great on the show. He's going to be on our podcast next week. By the way, I should mention uh, this week it's uh, uh, Neil, Neil, deGrasse. Neil deGrasse, right? He was amazing. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Good. Another one. We figured out the fucking universe with this guy, and it's on our podcast that you could get today. So please go and do today. that. Today. The Opie and Anthony podcast comes today. out every Wednesday, and that's what you got this week. All right? And then people are requesting Conway already, so it'll be on next uh, Wednesday's yeah. podcast. Anyway, that's not important to Ian. Yeah, no. I, heard, I heard the show got very big since I've been gone. So Well, our show? Yeah. Huge. I think we have a, a few more uh, really? listeners. It depends yeah. who you talk to. I think we have a few more listeners. Yeah, some people in, think in we're complete hizzy, failures, and others think we're oh, actually moving. True. Moving. No, the from needle. what I hear, you guys have been making a lot of noise. Word and on seemed, the street. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Right. I think you're street. bigger and better than before. Right. And now the show's gone completely well, downhill what? since I'm on. I was going to say, what, what's <laughs> the difference? And one is that you haven't been here in a while. <laughs> what about Sam over oh, here? I mean, God. young he, he Sam looks like Roberts. He, needs, he looks like he uh, just got circumcised or something. Well, that's He's probably, got, like, you know. Yeah, it looks like they cut He's a little bit a off goat, his man. Right. It's like, it's, yeah, he looks like Schmeckle. Is he, he, red looks meat. Like, he looks like I'm on a funeral parlor <laughs> and, you know, the corpse is semi alive. Like, no, I'm Dude, you when was the last well. time you took a vacation? That's probably uh, the biggest change yeah. since you've been here. Our own Sam Roberts went from lowly, you know, a little office boy to now professional broadcaster. That's true. Got shows on all these channels. Well, he works hard. He works, he works hard. hard, which, you know, that the, kind of is the excuse for his uh, so lackluster appearance. are you a millionaire? Appearance. Do you have seven uh, figures in the bank? No, I'm getting there. That's I good. Got, I, He's married, has a lovely wife. Yes. Seven. Beautiful wife. You, don't, you only have seven? <laughs> I'm working on five. <laughs> Five's not bad. Five figures? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not quite there yet. Ian, do you think you'll ever be a superstar? Nope. Like Stern, like Opie and Anthony? I mean, Stern, Opie and Anthony, they're yeah. synonymous. They're radio legends. Oh, yeah. yeah. You should be kissing their feet every fucking time you come into the studio. Right. That's right. Your oh. name ought to You're... be Tootsie Kisser. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I, I was playing tennis the other day, and ah, guess who's on the next court? Let no. me guess. Let me guess. Oh. A Rod. That's yeah, guess. right next to me. And yeah. My perception of him changed. Why? I saw him with his daughters, uh -huh. and Cynthia was there too. Just the four of them. Who was yeah. with him? Cynthia oh, okay. and his two kids. Who's Cynthia? His ex. Yeah. His ex. And, and I gotta say, ex, kudos to A Rod. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a guy better with kids. Yeah. He was fantastic. Hey, wait a minute. I fucking. Uh, <laughs> I'm good with him. The only time I ever played tennis is this fucking guy Milos, and he made me. He Who, the actually. Canadian? No, it's it a Canadian some Russian guy. Named Milos. I think it was Russian. Okay. And. Uh, he I'm wanted to impress his understand. chick on the fucking court. So he, like, asked me, you know, Anthony, could you please, you know, make uh, it look like I am good at tennis? But then as I helped him, the guy's bad-mouthing me. Like, oh, look at what the little girl. Look, you're going to cry, baby? 
So I just fucking like fucking yeah, never, power never trust the gay Russian right down his fucking never. throat. No, no, no. He's never. trying to impress his chick. Send them back to Siberia. Give him a good lunch this there. Chick. I could have fucked this chick. Well, Russian chicks are hot. <laughs> have you ever banged a Russian chick? Um, hmm. Let me see. Yeah, she's always in a hurry. Ah, <laughs> hey, Chippa. Chippa, you, you focus. are the best. We got Double a guy. Borscht. We got a guy in the line that wants to ask you about something you said last time you were on our show. Uh -oh. What? It's it's fair. Yeah, how can I remember that? I'm practically well, suffering from Ian. Uh, Ian. Yes, yes. Listen to Jason up, Dan? from Indy. Right. <laughs> yeah, I want to call you a name, but I really need the answer to this question, so I'm gonna wait. So. Last time you were on the show, you said there's some horrible disease sweeping Hollywood. It's worse than AIDS. It's going to start killing everybody. What the hell? I haven't heard one thing about this Hollywood. <laughs> you haven't. Uh, actually, there was a disease sweeping Hollywood, sweeping parts of the U.S. Uh -huh. Shortly happened? after, I guess they controlled it. But do Google it, man. Google ah! it. <laughs> Google it. Listen, right. his own catchphrases. I like hearing get her done. <laughs> right. Google it. How, how have you been? Where how have going? you been? You sound more sexually frustrated, oh, shit. more depressed. You know, with all due respect when to I you. Google it. The only thing I find is Ian's a fucking mongoloid. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> you should only live like this mongoloid one day exactly. of your life, and God bless. I wish you all really the best. Sweeping Hollywood, you. Yeah. How are, how are things with the ladies? <laughs> They're always I good. like hearing about your sex exploits. Yeah. Well, no, there's no more sex exploits. I'm, a, I'm, a, oh, I'm, I'm practicing serial monogamy. You go gay? What I have, happened? I have sex with cereal? Ah, <laughs> right, Chip. Oh, that yeah. is a good one, Home Chip. Run, Chip Whoa, he's got a girlfriend. A you got a girlfriend? You have a girlfriend. Yeah, what's that about? Um, How long? She's a lawyer, and uh, oh, a lawyer. you know I'm very serious in uh, just leading a yeah. low key life. You know that's you're not uh, unco uncovering anything these days. Yeah, I'm working on a TV show. It's called House Guest. Uh, mm -hmm. Every week I stay with a different family. I just came back from England. I shot there. Uh, I stayed with a professional roller derby player. Her, yourself her was husband. In there. <laughs> 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 Husband's a clinical psychologist, ah. and by the end of my stay. They they split. Wow! So, what uh, happened? You fucking. She was like, uh, you you can't fucking compete with with his highness. Well, I'm no, I, I, I didn't dumping. bang her again. No? I'm practicing serial monogamy these uh, days. Yes. Oh, but what do you date like? I made them uh, realize they weren't compatible. We the first they weren't there, compatible. <laughs> but tell me how the show goes down. You yeah, go yeah, with them happens? for how long? Uh, a week. And I stay what, with them for a week. And then what do you do? A little uh, cameras are all over the place. So you're gonna and, work yeah. with the people, and I just infiltrate their out. zone. I, I, okay. I, you know, their I try space. to make them self-disclose, realize kind of their purpose in life. Yeah. What are you like a fucking life coach in there? Yeah. You know, I make. Uh -huh. an, I'm like Anthony Robbins on steroids. This could be your oh, first good idea. I like this one. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. This is a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, and, and where do you sleep? Uh, I sleep in their house. Wait, yeah. Sam what? Guest room. Sam. This says that it shot in February 2012. What? Well, we've been shooting. No, we started shooting. Oh, shit. And we've been shooting two years. Two years? So, yeah. years. What fucking reality show? They, their turnaround is like a week on reality shows. Well, we do a lot of shows. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? You, you want to you get like fucking yeah. eight seasons in the can before you roll out that first episode. No, we've been rolling out. All right. It's, okay. I'm when is going to hit uh, TV so we can watch this? Uh, it won't hit TV. We're doing our own channel. Oh, I got And you. it's going to be pay, pay what, as you go. What channel? Uh, His Highness YouTube? channel. YouTube? <laughs> no, no YouTube. His Highness channel. My own channel. My own channel well, what's your own, own channel interviews. when you want to promote your own channel Sam, you don't, yeah. uh, well i mean because the only thing is because you shot sure. in february 2012 right. and now that's the almost yeah we're pushing a year and two years nine months yeah. at least months. right yeah, yeah. Almost nine months we're still shooting like the, still shooting and it's going to be on your own channel but yes. you don't really want to promote it even though we're big i will promote stars. it when we're ready to roll out is we're not ready is there a possibility that you shot it in february 2012 and then things didn't really happen with it, and it's actually not going to happen? No, no. Oh, you know, when I do God. something, Roberts, unlike yourself, with okay. all due respect, <laughs> all right, I do it to you. the max. Oh. I don't do anything oh. second rate. Oh, I do no. it to the best I can and top notch. Our oh. phones went out, and yeah. we need our phones for the e Oh, my no, it's God. Are second rate. All right, they might be back. Yeah, yeah. No, you sorry. don't do anything second rate, no. no. no what book are you working on? Anything? Uh, yeah, it's a book about uh, hockey players, and oh. it's called Dirty Play. 
Oh, cool. And I've interviewed several make- hundred people for this. And <laughs> How do you interview several interview. hundred people? We've been on for years and we haven't interviewed <laughs> several know. hundred. Well, you know, have a, it's amazing. I work whatever very happened to your Lady Gaga project? That oh, did shit. well. That rolled out. That did very well. Yeah. Sold all over the world. To, could you look up the yeah. Lady Gaga Chasing project? Chasing Gaga. Chasing Gaga. Okay, here's a Chasing Gaga watch party. Oh, it aired on the yeah. TV Guide channel. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. is there a, like a trailer or a clip we could play? Yeah, play a clip. Yeah, okay. Chasing Gaga. I would like to see some of And now you're going with the hockey players. Hockey's big in Canada, my friend. I don't you think I got to tell you. You would it have is. been able to interview hundreds of people if you did it to the max. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what did a Frank and a Bill get? Do you yeah. ever? Uh, you know, you Robert, ever... Roberts. You know, for a guy with a small dick, you certainly have a big. Whoa. Dick. <laughs> Seriously. You ever relax in, mean, or are you always working? What do you? No, do? I'm not always working. You, I'm you, very selective in what I get involved in. You kick back. And, uh, absolutely. What do you do? Where do you go? Where do you go to relax? What do you do? I play tennis. Yeah, but you mean tennis you is my lot. yoga. Is it? Some guys do yoga. Yeah, never seen. Yeah. Not only a master songwriter and keyboard hey. player, Gaga has staged some of the most significant and entertaining shows in the history of, of pop music. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Ian Halper, an award-winning celebrity journalist and author. Oh, you shouldn't say that about I've yourself. Covered Hollywood's biggest stars, including Michael Jackson, Princess Diana, and Elizabeth Taylor. But few have Three had the dead people. rise of Lady Gaga. I interviewed many like a key fucking vulture. To Gaga <laughs> since her career took off to get the story. <laughs> All right, this seems. Oh, I like it. It's Seems legit. legit. Yeah, it we did well. They didn't play it in America, but it did play in America. We don't really need, we a, got a, we don't need a market like America. I could get that somewhere. We right? sold it all over the world. Oh, it's on YouTube. Yeah, we yeah, watch you on YouTube. You know what I love? Titles. I love that goddamn Apple TV. I put stuff on YouTube it on my good. phone, and then I just go, Apple TV, and there it is on my 90-inch fucking TV in my goddamn <laughs> fucking <laughs> nice. living room. I'm watching anything. It's been you know? like a movie screen. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Exactly. There. Wow. Yeah, you Jimmy know, will not let it go. You know, Anthony, I, I agree with you on all this because we're this not at the mercy of all the big corporations anymore. <laughs> you know we what? Can take it into Bingo. our own hands and make money. Last night, a uh, little story. I want to watch uh, Gladiator. <laughs> out of nowhere, I just, you know, I like that movie. I think it's one of the few uh, perfect movies out there. There's not one moment that's bad in that goddamn movie. So I want to watch it. So I, I, I go to On Demand. I get it. And then I realize when they come out and that guy's swinging whoosh, whoosh, the mace around and he smacks that guy in the head and his teeth and blood go flying. No teeth, no blood. What? Like, what the fuck? They took that out of the movie? So I look and it says, Gladiator remastered. Oh, I don't know what the fuck that means. And it's On Demand. So it's fucking remastered. So I'm like, son of a bitch. Netflix, bam, nothing, nothing Why there. Why do that? I go, I'm, I'm searching all over the place. Then I finally found a DVD in my house. The, the moral of the story is... You don't have to put up with the man anymore. You know, I don't have to. Wow, I don't know why annoying. they did that. And I noticed right away. I'm like, I remember that. It was right after the guy pisses his fucking pants, and the door opens, and the guy gets smacked in the head with right. the fucking mace. You and, know what? And they cut out the fucking blood in Gladiator. It's the whole point. You know what, man? All of us are thinking right. of, thinking yeah. about throwing our yeah. DVDs Thank away. You. Yep. yep. You got to keep the DVDs. You never know because they're going to remaster all this shit. Yeah. 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 Eventually. Eventually. Yep. So keep your DVDs if you want to see the original version of the movie. And, and of course, I had three giant stacks that. of DVDs in the plastic cases. Right. Where do you think Gladiator was? The bottom of the last <laughs> one I fucking Isn't checked. Always the case. I'm fucking tooling through. There's the Matrix. There's fucking Terminator. Right. There's Alien. I'm fucking flipping discs all over the I place. Don't, I don't know why you... Little, be- little Beavis is batting them around the house. <laughs> like, knock it off. Here's my vocabulary, by the way, uh, uh, when I'm home alone. No, Beavis, no! Beavis, get down! Be- Ow! Ow! It's no, not, Beavis! No, stop it! It's not as fun. I am it's, yelling it's not constantly anymore, huh? at my little cat. The terrible twos for your fucking kitten already. Oh. Right, Ian knows. Terrible twos, yeah. right, Ian? Oh, he does it. From 2 to 17, right? And he well, you know what? I, I think the, f- the first four <laughs> years are tough because the kids are falling all over the place. You get oh, all nervous. After muscular four, dystrophy it's, is a it's bitch. A <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Put stuff in their milk, make some tired. How was Montreal, oh, Anthony? I know you were up in Montreal. <laughs> I enjoyed <laughs> I heard you were a big hit there. You hosted a gala, and uh, it was they loved a you. Lot. It was so much fun, and the people up there were uh, wonderful. Delightful. The city. Is great. Hot on the streets. It's clean. Yeah. There's no you go. gibberish. No right. gibberish on so the street fan. corners. It's French and English. Big it's fan. Multi- multi- I don't mean that. Oh. It's speaking both languages. Very proper. Not like fucking here. Walk Did they down treat the street. you well? 
They like fucking gold. Mm -hmm. Please, thank you. As the bartenders really? were fucking courteous. Oh, appreciative. I loved it. And the I checks? gotta tell you. How were the chicks? Smoking hot, Ian Halperin. <laughs> smoking hot <Yep>. Canadian broads. <laughs> Canadian, yep. They, yep. they are. They love are. it. <laughs> you're not going to get any complaints. So you're going to go back me. next summer? I would love to go back next summer. Uh, yeah, you for, guys are big that. in Canada. I know we are. Huge. Love it. We know. That's why we went. I mean, We're going to go every year now. People are beating down doors to get into the show. Mm. And we got to go to the phones. Yes. Um, Let's say hi to Michael in Manhattan. Oh, no, no, no more guys. No more guys, because all the chicks? guys... I, I need <laughs> they're women. They're just haters. Women. They're no jealous. more guys. Sorry, jealous guys. Jealous haters, Ian. Yeah. Uh, the phones aren't working. Remember what? when I said that a little while ago? Oh, Mars still, is right on it. They're still not working. Oh, that's right. I haven't seen it. Hey, them. Ian, why are you here today? I'm confused. <laughs> I oh. have to say hi to you guys. I'm in town it's shooting an episode of House Guest, and uh, oh. I have to come say hi to you guys. An another episode of House ah. Guest. Ah. How many seasons do you have in the in the can? I'm going to do about 15 episodes, <laughs> and it's pay as you go, and that's it. Nice. Love it. You know, and, and no checks made out to Sam Roberts. I Maybe mean, we should he, go he's that making route. a lot of paper. He, you know, yeah. if Sam Roberts was homeless, I'd probably uh, pass him by. Not, you know, with all due oh, respect. Why, why is that? It could, because, dude, you look like a corpse. You oh. need to get yeah, a tan. Yeah, but if I was homeless, that wouldn't be you, that. You look weird. miserable, bro. Miserable I since I've seen you last time. Day. How's I marriage? I see here. a ring is still on your finger. Uh, Mazel yeah. Marriage is good. It's good. Yeah, marriage. Michael, did you bang her last league. night? I, I did, as a matter of fact. Yeah. He yes, married so far out of his league. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's vulgar talk. His wife is very cute. I'm very excited nice. that I'm going to see Jess Show this uh, Friday at Thank my you. big Halloween gala. Yeah. Hopefully she, be, dresses uh, up Hopefully she dresses up as a woman who murdered her husband. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming to Ant's party on Friday? Yeah, you're oh, invited. Oh, yeah. In town. In town. Ah, oh, shit, I was going to invite you. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, Michael in Manhattan yeah. wants to say something to, Mike? to Ian Halpern. Hey, uh... Ian, you fucking moron. Oh, man, that's... With all due respect. I mean, you're like a human parrot. That's all you said. Why the Why the Was it always why like this? Why all the testosterone? Why all the jealousy, uh, the I mean, hatred? I mean, it's a beautiful coming. day in New York. You're nothing, man. Yeah. Dude, it had, it, I'm not uh, asking for your approval. <laughs> you know, the only approval I need is for my own family, dude. You're not mishpucha. You know, what is it? Like, Don't give me the Yiddish. The Yiddish is crap. Are you, are you an anti-Semite? <laughs> yeah. On the anti -Semite bowl. You don't like Jews, right? Dude, let, let me explain something. To you. Would you bang Al Sharpton? You're the type of creep to grease yourself up, okay? Jerk off into a fucking mirror. Dude, Dude I ain't jerking off. Like Dude, get a life, you miserable Thursday, okay? zero. Right. You're a zero, dude. You're still doing the same fucking bullshit two years later. Uh, Get a life. What are you doing with your life, you mooch? <laughs> Showtime. Come on. Get him off the line. There. Get him off. He's a mooch. He's a zero. Enough for him. Right. Let me tell you something. I'm sorry, Mike. I know Ian hasn't been here in a while, but I don't recall. Were the callers always like this? No, they usually are pretty nice. I get all these tweets. Please come back on the show. Come back on the show. So I'm back, but what a homecoming! You know, I, I, I don't lose everyone sleep. Everyone that wants you back, and that's the millions of people. Yeah. they're just listening and enjoying at home. That's it. The You're haters, right. which is just a, a small portion of the What's audience, the vocal minority. Is they're what it the is. one calling, and he's rocking right. the frosted hair. I say, yeah, I see that. Looks good. You're making it work. It's Ian. pretty yeah. good. Making it yeah. work. It's all showbiz. It's showtime. It's all showbiz. Yeah. Yeah. I, Ian I wanted showbiz. to be a cross between uh, yourself and Anthony. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We got Tim in New York. I'm going to prove that the you know the the listeners right. are, could be not tied one to decided. Ian. Right, of course not. Tim, go ahead. Hey, I was wondering if Ian's show is actually called Bathhouse Guests. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you know what uh, right? Your jokes are so old. I was surprised uh, by that so one. They're so old. Get, at least give fresh, good jokes. Right. Yeah, I need gay men yeah, go to bathhouses. The guy who harps off the corpses of Michael Jackson, Liz <laughs> Taylor, and Princess Di. Oh, oh, I love Liz Taylor. I love Liz Taylor. May she rest in peace. Would you do her? Yeah, uh, yes. In, in, in her the current, current state? state? Yes, absolutely. In the current <laughs> state. All right. I, can, I, 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 would, I wouldn't now. do Conrad Murray. I'm really upset that he's out of jail. Uh, oh he, yes, he got off two years early. I, he, that I think is, he, he got out. I think he banged somebody in the prison and they let him out early. Oh, I, mean, I can't think. <laughs> there's no other reason for this dude to get out so early. Did you hear his crying I, tapes? I, I, his uh, voicemails where he's crying, yeah, and leaving yeah. people voicemails, and then it seems like he just went in and now he's out. I'm yeah. sure it probably seemed longer for him than it did for us here on the outside, not paying attention. Considering to him. he killed the king of pop, I think it's reasonable yeah. to do two years. Right, right, right. Exactly, two years. Wow. 
killing, yeah, you know. The hell is that about? doesn't make sense. Let's say hi to musician. Doug in Boston. He's a regular. I'm sure he'll treat you with some respect. Doug, hey! Doug. Go ahead, Doug. Hey, listen, I, I don't have a problem with Ian. I don't even know him. But uh, we do have a mutual friend who I called him earlier to say, hey, Ian's going to be on uh, O&A. Uh-huh. And he's like, well, here, you got to bring this up, okay? you got to ask Ian about his friend Stick, who lives in Montreal, who has a book called My Dirty Clothes. And apparently the story is Ian decided to register the donate, domain name My Dirty Clothes behind his friend's back. Oh, yeah, that's, what you're sounds... saying is libelous, Ooh. what's false, <laughs> and uh, get a life, dude. Don't make false uh, accusations because I, you might have His Highness's lawyers taking uh, away your home. Oh, shit. That sounds uh, like a yeah, juicy well, piece I of gossip. one more thing, too. Okay, so Mark, oh, I'm sorry, my friend also says that... Um, Ian has a thing for Russian hookers, and most oh. of the money from his Michael Jackson book oh. was spent on Russian hookers. Ian, comment. Uh, Ian, get Ian. this guy's number, and I'll have my lawyer's contact. Oh, him, so. oh yeah. Yeah, shit. Yeah, this is... Uh, you know, you can't make statements like that. And, you know, it's all jealousy. And, uh, you do love the Russian chicks, though. Although, to pump up Russian the Russian economy. You did kind of implicate yourself by that whole Russian yeah. thing we yeah, mentioned before. And then he before. just picked up on it. And, you know, it's I mean, easy to make that allegations. That is true. Yeah. That is yeah. true. You know. All right. Yes, yes. Let so. me try another one here. Vinny in Staten Island. Another regular hey, to the yeah. show. Vinny. Gentlemen, uh, earlier in the week we talked. Fuck Lou Reed. Fuck uh-huh. Radiohead. Uh-huh. Fuck Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And most importantly... Fuck you, Ian Alpert. Oh, <laughs> wow, you're being lumped in with some Ian, great you're in great there. company right there. Uh, he put you in. Hey, I don't Lou know Reed, if that was a compliment. That's a big loss, and uh, may he rest uh, in peace. Why is I was a big age? Velvet Underground fan, and I was very upset to hear about Lou Reed's death. Uh, you're a big fan? Uh, huge. Uh, I think Lou Reed really yeah. reinvented. Dirty Boulevard, we're going down. It's nice, to right? the Dirty Boulevard, we're going <laughs> so dirt. What a voice on That's him. Right. Was Ian, Lou ever on the show? Um, no. No, but he, Ian, he you, you're show. a singer. Yeah. I've heard you croon yeah. before. Well, can we hear him croon? Um, I don't know, can we? Um, you've, you've, uh, you're a songster. Just to prove that you're a crooner before Ann makes his point. But uh, I, I've, I've heard I'll, him I'll sing. I'll sing you one of mine. Okay. Oh. All right. Going low, going high, and I'm feeling so nice. I'm driving in the Norway road. There you go. Oh, it's right good. on key. Uh, now, you got a guy like Lou Reed who gets all these accolades. The guy couldn't sing a note. Let's be real yeah, but, here. So, so, you know, there are Rod Stewart, uh, Leonard Cohn, uh, Bob Dylan, but these guys are I don't are mean the raspy icons. throat yeah. thing. You know, yeah. you listen to Rod Stewart, he's hitting the notes that he's supposed yeah. to hit yeah. when he sings. Lou Reed Truth. is just kind of talking his way through these. And if you listen to a lot of his songs, they don't even rhyme. Yeah. Fucking, he's just babbling and talking. Making a song rhyme is a talent. You but know? that's what gives him his own voice, with uh, all due respect. Look, uh, I will never... Mm-hmm denigrate another artist in any shape or form you uh-huh. could fart in a cd put it out okay i'm not going to trash him what do I, I i say put it all out there let the people judge but i admire anybody true with artist. the courage to express themselves Very good. let's you're go to, nice. you're a humble man let's go to garrett in philly garrett ian you're a fraud and uh, i have proof of it Ooh, yeah right be so careful actually, man he's got powerful lawyers fucking lawyers will be right on there that's right ian, I have a video. Slap an injunction you. on him. Yes? Listen, I have a video of you on my cell phone, of you crying at JFK International Airport two weeks ago outside the Burger King. Do you recall this? Is that true, Ian? You were crying outside of Burger King? What, what did they get your order right, wrong? Let's go to the next caller, Uh-oh. because, you know, <laughs> what get, are we going to do Did here, they get your you order wrong? Why, yeah. would, they, what's, what's why, they, why would you what's be he, crying outside he, of Burger King? Yeah, what's he talking about? They didn't have the healthy fries? You were on the phone. He was on the phone when he was crying. I had a video. Yeah. Well, what was it about? Was it maybe it was a personal issue? You're right, Ian. I'm fine. Do, do, do. <laughs> Did they not hold the pickle yeah. or the lettuce? All right, let's move on because you know <laughs> special I, I, orders. You're supposed to be come on, let's have some substance and them. let's have right. some fun. <laughs> Ian, I mean, yeah, well, why yeah, were you I, crying? What was, what was the matter? I mean, I've cried. I, I'm, I'm, just not gonna, I'm, I'm just not going to. I'm just not going to give any buy into any of this. They so. didn't give you a cardboard yeah. crown. Yeah. Email the video to you guys. What email address should I send? Yeah, please email it. You got video. Yeah, I will email it to you guys. Please was do. It, was it bawling, pissy-eyed crying, or just a little weepy? Yeah, that's it good. Was, it was weepy, but he was, he definitely was not okay. That's What's your email, Sam? I mean, I think this guy's lying. I don't believe him. Uh-oh, Ian. What uh, happened? You can send it to opianthony at SiriusXM.com. Why didn't you go up to him and go, hey, you're Ian Halpern? Because he was literally a mess, and he's a creep. 
All right. Uh, All right. It's a crap. <laughs> All right. He's going to mail that in. Let me say hi to Steve in Montreal. You were just ah, talking about Montreal. Here you this go. Is Great city. A fellow Canadian, nice. Great a brother city. of country. Good morning, Steve. How you guys doing? All right. Steve A. Hey, Ian, I got a question for you. You uh, intended a lawsuit against Guy Lepage <laughs> a couple of years back for his uh, on his show that you were on. Tout le monde en parle. Yeah. I was curious to find out what happened with that. And by the way, you are rocket to him. <laughs> oh. You know. Did you have an actual I'm lawsuit? not going to comment uh, on anything legal. Uh, what I will say, I went on the show. Yep. And uh, gonna, what, what show are you? I, don't even, I didn't hear what he said. It's a, it's a show up in Canada called Tout le monde en parle. Okay. What does that so, mean? So uh, everybody speaks. You speak French? Uh, Dumb oui, je parle français. Est-ce que okay. tu parles français, toi? Si elle va les sous or something. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, I'm not going to talk about it. I, I respect Guillaume Lepage. It wasn't about him. It was about another guy on the show. And we settled it, and that's it. Game over. And I, I'm not going to talk about it. What was the issue? At yeah, what did the guy do? Um, you don't have to, like, There were some the um, detail, remarks but. made about... Uh, I was on the show the day of Yom HaShoah, which is Holocaust Remembrance Day. Oh, shit. And my father's a Holocaust survivor. Oh, man. For real. And there were some anti-Jewish remarks made. I've got the grandfather that died in a concentration camp. Don't say it. He <laughs> fell out of the guard tower. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> See, oh he, was, he was a Nazi. <laughs> it's a guard that was there to protect the, the other Nazis. And, <laughs> you all right, Ian? May he rest in peace. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened with this Holocaust Day? Well, there were some uh, derogatory statements made, but we settled it, so I'm not uh -oh. going to comment in, on it. No, yeah. on his part, obviously. Yeah. All right, we got He's probably not as sympathetic to the Jewish cause as uh, an Ian Halperin would be. We got Anthony's a brother. A fellow member of the tribe. Anthony's uh, brother? Yes, Joe. What's up, guys? How Joe, are you? For real, this what's is Joe. Up? I'm, uh, I, yeah, I just have two things to, I have two things to plug. Oh, now. my I God, we're in the middle of... Question. No, come on, I, I never call him for plugs. But uh, the first thing is Hagerstown, Maryland, to you at the Hagerstown uh, Theater, in Mar the Maryland Theater in Hagerstown. <laughs> You didn't hang up on me. I know you Ouch. didn't hang up on me. No, I'm, I'm car crashing you because we're in the middle of a, a fine interview with Ian Halpern. I have a question. I have a question for Ian. I just wanted to plug a couple oh, of things. Oh, okay. Well, all right. And the, uh, and, and the other thing was uh, fundanything.com, Penn Gillette, his movie director's cut. I know he's coming on the show soon. Mm. I just wanted to uh, mention the fact that I uh, turned in a couple of uh, song possibilities for the soundtrack. <laughs> 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 up on YouTube. And, uh, Ian, who are you and what do you do? Oh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm a re I used to be a regular on the O&A show. <laughs> and uh, I've had a two-year hiatus. And I'm back on the show. I'm a big fan of these guys. Thank you, Ian. We're big fans of you. You know that. Absolutely. It's right. great to be here. Great uh, to see you guys. Yes. I have a lot of respect. This is a different Ian Halperin. Uh, well, it's a little more it, subdued. It is. He's a taken man. A little man. more subdued. I like the wild party guy who comes in those here with Those days are gone. You know, Remember when you came in with those chicks? Remember the chicks that you rented for the day? Uh, Craigslist, you know. <laughs> I, I could have got better models uh, probably on the corner of uh, Broadway and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and those. 42nd. <laughs> but you know what? You had them. They were up here. They were yeah. here. Like, let me tell you something. A friend of mine went on Arsenio Hall two weeks ago. Okay. And some comedian brought her on. She was paid as a member of the audience to pop out. So, oh, shit. So, I, you know, they either stole from me or I stole from them. Wow. But, hey, I, Will Arsenio last this time around? No. Yeah, it doesn't no. seem like anyone's talking about no it. One, no one. I don't even know what the ratings are. Zero about. heat. He, he seems to do very well at first because I like a lot, like, like talk show. The different yeah, there doesn't talk. seem to be anybody watching. Just no talking water over him now. So is he here for a cup of coffee? And, um, a cup of fun. Yeah, he's... And, and what he's doing, it's exactly the same thing he was doing in the 90s. So he's not even... He hasn't changed anything. He hasn't updated it. And, and the, the only thing is, he's a little more out of touch now than he was, um, you know, when he was a hip, uh, hip I don't know anybody. I don't. I don't. I honestly don't hear people talking about it. None. I, I don't know. If he, he might be doing well in the ratings. I just don't know. I don't think he is. I watched uh, Pete Holmes' new show. How yeah. was that? I liked it. Pete the Wad Holmes. Pete Holmes. Yeah, yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I think that's a he's good follow-up to Conan. He, yeah, yeah, he's on after yeah. Conan on TBS. They I think had their first well. show the other day. You know who's writing for that show? Joey. Joe DeRosa. Joey D. Sorry, Pete. Oh, what happened? I'm saying because Joe's writing for him. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> the Wolverine sketch he did to start it all off was pretty good. Very clever. Yeah, well yeah. written. Yeah, I liked it. Very nice. So far, so good for Pete Holmes. Was it a half hour or an hour? Half hour. Oh, I have it. Thanks. Is it a half hour? I think it is. Oh, that went by. Uh, and how's Fallon going to do in New York? Well, we love the Fallon. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, him and oh, Kimmel yeah. are great with with like uh, social media and with 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 what's current and in the pop culture. They're yep. both really good with that. So I think we're fine. Are you going to be a regular on his show? If you've had me, of course. I've done Fallon before. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, I think we're Team Fallon on this one. Mm-hmm. Although they're, yeah, both, I think he'll do well. Although think, they're yeah. both very good. I'm not trashing uh, Kimmel, but yeah, I'll do his show. Fallon's too. been very cool to us over the years. I think it's a good move to move the show here. Mm-hmm. Well, it's hard to say Back because to it's good York. for Kimmel because he'll be the only LA guy at 11:30. Was Jay's going off the air and fucking, um, you know, with, with, with Fallon staying here, Kimmel's got the L.A. thing sewn up. And that's why Carson eventually moved, moved to L.A. Yeah, years ago. Yeah, I wonder how it'll affect guests. He'll get great ones in New York. Maybe they figure there's more New York guys. But I think uh, you're going to get Kimmel getting more first movie stars because of where he is. Mm-hmm. But do you think there's room for all these guys late night? It seems oh, there's way there's too many right now. It's a bit crowded. Of room. A bit crowded. There's you know, we so haven't even, many. We yeah. haven't even talked about Chelsea Handler. I mean, all these people are coming out with late night shows, and I think Chelsea's some of them are going to have to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> well, the amount of channels that there are these days, and, uh, you know, you can they pop need shows on everywhere. They aren't expecting huge runaway numbers anymore because the audiences are so divided. Yeah, if you could be, you know, the big fish in the smaller pond, eh, then you're, you're eking out an existence. You know, I think Pete Holmes will do pretty good. Mm-hmm. What about yeah. Ferguson? Huh? The, the brother from fucking Clarissa Explains It All? Yeah, I don't know where he is. I mean, somebody has to take a hike here. I, I, I like Ferguson, but I don't watch him. Yeah, but when yeah. I end up watching him, I do enjoy what he does, if that makes any Who's sense. Who's the best out of all of them? Which Ferguson do you mean? I think, um, I think Letterman. Turd. Yes, Turd Ferguson. I still, I still like yeah. Letterman above them all. Yeah. yeah, I agree with you. You do? 100%. Yeah. Wow. I think Letterman's Letterman, looking a little old on the TV. Letterman's still, in a league of his own. Still does I it. was there the day Julianne Moore opened up for you guys. When you guys oh. were on that show, I was in the audience. You weren't in the audience. Yes, I was. Oh, wait, I, I think we talked about it. I was. Julianna Moore was the first guest, and, and you guys were second. Oh. You guys had more fans than her. Julianna Outside the studio, Moore. by the, the, the side, there were so many O&A fans. One and done oh. for us. I was there with my buddy David Gavrilchuk. Oh. He flew into New York, and Did we, we got tickets to Letterman. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to sue us, are you? No, nah, you guys are, right, you guys are uh, sue-proof. Well, you know, I wouldn't want to mess with your lawyer. Well, you guys look, are nice look at guys. what we did to the last guy that sued us. We set him up as a pedophile going after a seven-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Only took ten years, but we did it. We, we got, got him. him. We got him. We got him back. Surprised the shit <laughs> out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you hear about that, Dave Herman? Rock no, and Roll Morning know. Show from WNEW? I never heard about that, but that's yeah, a good one. They spent a year uh, doing an investigation on him. Uh, turns out he was soliciting sex from mother for uh, uh, sexual um, uh, services of her six-year-old daughter. At uh-huh. the time. At the I time. They and threw it away the key. It took him a year, but he finally... How are they going to lock the was, cell? ...was going to get it done. And, oh, after that. Okay. And gotcha. she was seven when uh, she was going yeah. to fly this fake person. They, and they caught him waiting kid. for wow. this plane to come in with this um, you know, imaginary mother and daughter, but he thought they were real, in St. Croix. Because he's got a house down there. So the police went into the airport while, where he was waiting, and they got him sitting there in the chair in the terminal with a stuffed animal on his lap. Poor guy. Just waiting for this fucking kid to come. What a piece of shit. That's like what? being in a restaurant and you're ready for your steak, <laughs> and instead they come over with handcuffs. <laughs> that ain't right. Oh, Uncle Paul. You're a despicable man. He had uh, to pay for parking and everything and I buy bet. the doll. That's long-term parking. Maybe they, let Conrad, maybe they let Conrad Murray out so he could check in. Hey, there you go. Make some cell space for that motherfucker. That's a lie. I hear you. What's, um... I gotta go. What? I got my one-on-one. Oh, my God, what, what, What's your schedule today? I got my one-on-one. I didn't even notice okay. what time it was. Uh, Tim Sabian. He's, hey, try, let, he's trying to do one-on-ones or something. Hey, let thing. me thank you guys. It's been nice hey, to see Halprin. you guys again. What a, what a and, pleasure. Um, Please, uh, don't make yourself a stranger yeah, thank you very as long much. as you have. And, uh, I'm a big fan of the show. Uh, I could yeah. tell you, we mentioned a few things. that yeah. uh, a Huge uh, fan. You guys are listening. legends. Legends. Legends in the radio world, for wow. sure. 
And uh, you got the right man over here hitting cleanup. Oh, Thank please. You. Jimmy Norton in shape, looking good. And I fucking... have so many friends in Canada who are fans of these. this guy. Oh, yeah. So he's like a rock star up there. Anywhere. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Anthony Cumia. <laughs> Until tomorrow, go fuck your mother. Rob, bitch, rob, bitch, bitch, rob, bitch, 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 bit